Good morning, folks. Most of you saw this eruption yesterday, one of Japan's biggest in a while, despite constant volcanic activity. And yes, for those who asked, volcanoes are part of this earthquake watch in effect. It ramped up big time yesterday as we started the day with the 6.4 in Indonesia. Idaho took a tremor as well, Los Angeles saw 3.7, then a 6.5 struck the Solomon Islands and we closed out the day with a 4.3 in Oregon. This morning was not much different as Tajikistan was rocking and then a 6.7 quake rocked the Indian Ocean off Maritas. Interesting that local meters are only showing a 5.8 quake. Someone asked me yesterday why the Indian nuke story mattered. Well, in addition to the two workers exposed to tritium, is their plan to skyrocket nuclear reactor construction and power reliance. It's the greatest threat to our own survival. Interesting article here about how Grand Canyon-like rifts in the Antarctic ice revealed a method for how warmer air and water might enter the ice mass, melting it faster. Are you ready to get mad? That Texas fracking study that said no big deal may have been fraudulent. The head of the school's energy department, who personally ran the study, is on the board of PXP, a company that uses fracking. This is the scary area on TorCon for tonight. It is updated multiple times daily, so please check to see what's headed your way. And if you have a little free time, check out some of the cool photos of rare Earth sites. The space weather calm before the storm. Solar wind speed, yellow, flat line moving under 400 kilometers per second with the orange, the density, steady under one. No solar flares, x-ray flux hovering around B4 or 5 range. The flux gate magnetometer shows no disturbances. Red beneath the blue here on the Rio meter indicates that our shields are blocking the solar plasma. There is a resonance signature on the BX component of the induction magnetometer, but it's right in the middle of the 1400 anomaly on the BZ. Could just be that. In fact, the mild particle bombardment on Ovation Prime is about the most we can see in terms of space weather as the proton count remains slightly elevated for the fourth straight day. Having a look at active regions turning towards us on the south, the danger builds when big spots have little friends, especially ones of opposite polarity. The makings of complex beta gamma active regions is all here. The absence of solar flares cannot last much longer with these magnetics. In addition to those sunspots turning in on the left, the thin dark lines here are plasma filaments we need to keep an eye on, and the massive corona hole has turned to face the Earth. Her solar wind stream will be here in two days, just as something else is lining up nicely. Let's hope this quake watch has seen its last. That's the news, folks. Be safe.